Well, g'day curd nerds and welcome to day seven of the cheese a day challenge. Really looking forward to this one. This is the Meredith Dairy marinated goat's cheese. And uh, it should be absolutely delightful. However, we'll see. Okay, uh, what does it say, the ingredients? It says pasteurized goat's milk, canola oil, GMO free, extra virgin olive oil, salt, peppercorns, fresh thyme, garlic, non-animal rennets and cultures. Uh, so yeah, it's got some nice sp spices in there. We'll see what it tastes like. I can see the spices in the jar, it's quite nice. Uh, fat content, let's have a look. 25 percent so 25 grams per 100 grams very nice and uh, it is made in the town of meredith in victoria so another local cheese uh, and it says keep refrigerated and keep cheese submerged in oil after opening so let's I'll just open it up just cutting the plastic bits from the lid and there we go, the lid came off okay, that wasn't too hard. So as you can see there, some oil on top. Um, that's, and you've got a peppercorn floating there. But uh, yeah, there's the goat's cheese. It's going to be a little bit messy, but uh, okay, let's fish out one of these beauties. Very soft. Just let the oil drip off a little bit. The marinated cheese is all the rage at the moment, so I've heard, but uh, yeah, so it looks like a good product. Very creamy, smooth. Let's just move the jar out the way. Let's put that over there. Just cut a slice. This looks really good for salads. Really smooth goat's cheese. It's like sherve cut into squares. So let's try that on half a cracker. First of all, the smell. Well, it smells oily. I, I can smell the herbs, I really can. That's all I can smell at the moment. Oh, very nice. The goat's milk flavor, sharpness, lipase, you can taste it in there. Salty. The oil from the, the marinade tastes a little tiny, tiny bit of pepper. Uh, you can taste thyme as well. Thyme in there? Thyme, yeah, and garlic. I can taste the garlic as well. Really, really nice. Mmm. If you don't mind getting oil on your fingers. Mmm. That is a fantastic cheese. That is delicious. Let's just put a bit more on there. More of a paste that you can kind of spread. Mmm. Ah, really good. That. That is perfection in goat's milk cheese. That is absolutely delightful. Really, really nice. Oh, I've got to have a little bit more. That's so good. Oh, compared to uh, that South Cape cream cheese rubbish, this is to die for. Mmm, so nice. Creamy smooth. I'm glad I let it come up to room temperature because it's added to it, it really has. And the thing was, because it has olive oil in it, I know it has got some canola as well, because it's got olive oil in it and you put it in the coldest part of your fridge, the oil tends to go cloudy and a little bit solid. That's why you have to leave it up to bring it up to room temperature so the oil goes liquid again. Um, and you get that full flavor burst. It's just amazing. This is an amazing cheese. Really, really good. Now this 
cost me, let me just uh, check the fact sheet, this jar, two, uh, 320 grams of cheese, I don't know if that's the cheese and oil, but I would think that would probably be with the cheese, there's a lot in there, uh, cost me $12 Australian. A little bit more on the expensive side, but I tell you what, from what I've found so far, the expensive cheeses are the good ones. Um, so they are really nice. Mm. Very, very good. And it's local. That's what I love about it. For me, anyway. I think you'd be able to buy this all over Australia. I don't know about New Zealand, but all over Australia. I do think they're exporting to the US now. So, very, very nice, really good, really good cheese. I really do like it. Anyway, I'll pop the lid back on that. Screw it on tight, there we go, lovely. Fantastic cheese, uh, Meredith Dairy Marinated Goat's Cheese. Very nice, if you can find some, pick some up. Highly recommend it. Great spreadable little cheese. A little bit too soft to crumble over, uh, say, salads like a feta styles. It's not quite like that. It's soft, more like a sherv, um, and it has absorbed all of those flavours from the oil, the salt, the peppercorns, the thyme and the garlic, and it's all there, and you've got that goat cheese kick, which is absolutely fantastic. Highly recommend the... Oh, pardon me, the Meredith Dairy um, Marinated Goat's Cheese. Really, really good. Good value for money. I know it's $12, but hey, you pay for what you get. Thanks for watching. If you like this series of videos, then please give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. Share. Share all over the socials. That will be lovely as well. Um, tomorrow's cheese, let me just check, is Costello Danish Blue, all the way from Denmark. So I've got a, a, a Denmark, a Danish, sorry, Danish imported blue cheese made by Costello brand. I think it's a factory they make cheese there in Denmark. So that should be pretty exciting. Um, and that wasn't cheap either. But it was in the lo local supermarket, so it uh, can be part of this challenge. Anyway, thanks for watching. As always, uh, if you uh, want to support the show, then please check out the links to Patreon and YouTube memberships down below in the description. As always, thanks for watching and tomorrow I'll watch out for the next episode of the Cheese A Day Challenge. Thanks for watching Curd Nerds and I'll see you next time.